a blackberry attached to a pair of scissors and a sledgehammer. Hot wheels taped to exacto knife blades. Electrical fires burning over buckets of water. It looks like a disaster waiting to happen. In fact, it's been designed that way. It's a Rube Goldberg machine, a chain reaction device similar to a giant game of nose trap. And it's been designed and built by Ryerson engineering students. In 2010, YouTube sensations OK Go released a music video featuring a giant version of a Rube Goldberg machine. Ryerson's device is nowhere near one of that scale, but it doesn't make it any easier to build. Ryerson is participating in a Rube Goldberg relay with universities from across Ontario. Every chain reaction starts and ends with a cell phone. Each machine calls the next university to continue the relay. Project leader and third year engineering student Derek Stanley is very familiar with building chain reactions. They found out about my, pre my previous experience doing this in high school. So I was on a team that ended up getting a silver medal in a competition for it. So they asked me and I said, sure, why not? The builders are all either frost leaders or first year students. They've been working hard building, painting, and testing. This is Ryerson's contraption. As the last leg of the relay, instead of calling another cell phone, Ryerson will hit a button on a keyboard, lighting up the CN Tower, turning it purple, the color of engineering. Ryerson President Sheldon Levy stopped by to make sure the engineers had everything they needed to complete their machine. He seemed pleased with their progress. <laughs> wow, neat stuff, good stuff. Part of the fun, and the frustration, is just how unpredictable these machines can be. They're not always reliable. Some of the steps being so complex, there can be a lot of things that go wrong in between. So with our machine, just a bit of the scissors or getting the balloons to pop every time can be a little issue. It all depends on how things hit. The persistence of the builders is finally starting to pay off. After a long night of testing, the machine finally works. Now, they have to test the second part of the contraption. They also have to make sure that their device looks beautiful. Things are going well, but these engineering students are starting to run out of time. On Tuesday the 18th, here at the MAC, they will unveil their project for all of ours in the sea. Then, on the 24th, they'll pack it up and take it down to the base of the CN Tower where they'll have one shot at perfection. Peter Lozinski, Ryersonian TV.